This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for the Supercar Festival, a breakneck battle royale for exotic high performance cars. Rain in these monster machines and ride hard for the finish. So we have Silverstone International Circuit once again, Monza with the chicane, and Circuit de la Sarth, which is the first time I want to say that we are visiting this track as a regular race in the LP. So anyways, 630 performance points, sports ops or less, and we're going to use a price card for this one. Let's go to Manufacturer, and let's go to France. Let's get on our GT by Citroen road car that we acquired from the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Now, this thing is actually like a 7-speed, I want to say, or a 6-speed. Whereas, if you get the concept model, it's just an... I believe it's an EV, actually. Or it's just an automatic car with just a loud winding sound, and it um, it has one long-ass gear. I'm not sure. But anywho... Silverstone International for the first race. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get the show started. Also, the field, about what you'd expect for a supercar festival. Now, since this track is... What the... Oh, okay. Again, the weird slow cars are in the back, fast cars are in the front kind of thing. Um, a Cadillac CTS is not really something I'd expect to be in a super car festival. I consider it more of like a muscle car, but okay. Like a luxury muscle, but... I mean, hey, PD, whatever floats your boat, right? Okay, I'm not one to, like, complain about engine noises or anything, but this car sounds pretty garbage. <laughs> nice so far I should never driven this car period like my idea behind the car selection in just in this game in the LP in, in general is not only to choose wacky cars but just cars that I've never driven but I've always wanted to drive that sounds kind of dumb because it's a video game it's not like real life or like okay I can't drive a GTR because it costs an arm and a leg for a poor person like me but like you know when you were a, a teenager or a young adult, in my, in my case here, playing GT6, because I was 18 when this game came out, and I'm 25 now as of this recording, but um, I'd always stick with the basics, so like the Skyline, the Vipers, and everything, like the cars that I'm familiar with and that I really like. I like the GT by Citroen road car, it looks cool. I oh, had yeah, 7-speed, I was right. We'll see if we actually utilize that 7th gear. Probably not. But, um, yeah, it's an interesting car. Sorry, Pagani. I know I kind of scared you a bit, but... Kind of had to get by you ASAP. Anyways, one more lap to go. At this rate, you know, we did pass the, the Pagani by the final lap. I want to say at Lasarth we're going to probably get everybody by lap one, and that's a three-lap race. Kind of interesting how we have a really short circuit for the first race, and it's three laps, and then a medium size track in comparison, like Monza, for three laps, and then a long-ass circuit, like Circuit de Lasarth for three laps. Kind of interesting. Yeah, of course, the, the Huayra, or however you say it, has way more straight line speed than we do. But that's okay, because we're better drivers. Somewhat. There's one more corner to go. And that's race number one of Silverstone complete. 
Just said hi to the pit wall there, and we're done. Done with the first race. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So how much money do we get for this one? 31000 Okay, not as much as the tour of X, Y, and Zs, but that works. Anyways, on to race number two. Race number two at Monza, and we have an Events Door and an Enzo Ferrari and an Aston Martin 177 leading the field. Also, Rob Schneider in the Crossbow R. Hell yeah, we get a movie star. Because Rob Schneider is Kenny. Alright, for this race, I'm going to go with the roof cam because Circuit de la Sorte is Pog, and I'm going to go with Cockpit for that one. Because I'm an ultimate sim racer at Le Mans. Le Mans. Also, the Chadillac is back. This car doesn't have a horn. Probably because it's like a weird concept thingy. Yeah, no horn on it. What a shame. Oh my god, the dive bomb from hell on the Suzetta. The Suzetta got on the brakes really early. I was kind of like, all right, bud. I'll go, I have to send it, I guess. Whoops, sorry. I was just uh, admiring the beauty of the 599 Fiorano. Anyways, we easily get around everybody. The cars ahead are more spread out. The poor old crossbow. Why is it here? That car's a nightmare. It's a good car and everything, but like... I hate it sometimes because... That car ruins N-Class racing in Gran Turismo Sport. Because it's way too OP for the N300 class. And the N400 class, and the N500 class, and every other damn class. Road car balancing in that game is terrible. Also, the big ass boat 177 is way off the pace. And holding me up, too. I'd honk at him if I could. Wish a wiper works. If you can tell in the bottom. Uh, on the very bottom center of the screen. There it is. Went for the super late dive bomb. Left them in the dust. Now we have the Enzo and the Aventador to catch. Which, hey, they're going at it. The Italian boys and one French boy is going to come and take over the party. Oh, look at them side by side. Make it three wide. Oh, I sent it. Licked the stamp and sent it. That was sick. Can I send it on the Enzo? Yes, I can because he got on the brakes super early. I got on the brakes a tad late into the Parabolica. My exit was shit, but that's okay. Now, they have way more straight line speed than we do, which is going to be a problem if um, we don't get a big lead. This might be actually a crazy race if we don't get our, our lead big enough. Lesmos might help, 
But these corners here, like the chicanes, they're not that slow. The AI isn't, at least. So far, we're looking good. Come on. Does not fuck up the two Lesmo corners. Like, we have a big lead so far. But uh, their closing rate is gonna fuck things up for us. Ascari is our last chance, really. Okay, that was good. Oh man, look look at him come. Look at the closing rate that Enzo has. He's on the brakes early. No, he's on the brakes in a reasonable spot. Oh shit. We're gonna have to block like hell here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, little French boy, you can do this. I believe in you. We're gonna have to block. Oh fuck. No, you're not winning this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Dirty on my end, the TTD strat, but fuck it. Cool. So uh, that is it for race number two. Let's move on to race number three now, but before we do that, let me save a thumbnail because I think that'll be a pretty funny thumbnail at the end there. Okay, time for the final race at Circuit de la Sarth 2013, and we have the Huayra is back. Again, a bit of a weak field. We do have the Zonda in second, the C12S 7.3, but I don't expect that car to really be a heavy hitter. Although, here's the thing. Cockpit's weird in this car. It is a concept after all. And the um I've driven the the GT by Citroen Group 3 variants in GT Sport and yeah, like the cockpit looks n almost no different. Interesting car. But anyways, um as I was saying, this could be a scenario where the first sector the Ford chicanes and the Porsche curbs, not in that order, of course, in the correct order, but those three sections are going to be where we gain the most time. Oh, God damn it, dude. Um, the Molson straight and the straightaway before Indianapolis, uh, yeah, we're going to suffer through there, especially with the Pagani having so much more power than us. Actually, this thing actually reaches its to um, top speed not too shabby. Wow. Already 190 miles an hour. Seventh gear. Also, yay, the game is lagging a bit. Oh, because I got Speed Demon Trophy. Okay, fine. I'm guessing it's for hitting a certain amount of speed. Oh, the Pagani's actually battling with the Zon the Huayra and the Zonda are battling. The Pagani won too. Easily get around these boys. Whoa, nope. Stay on track. We're good. Three point nine seconds is the gap now. Maybe to the front runners will struggle a bit, but we'll see. Oh, I'm, I'm playing ping pong with the Ford GT and the Viper behind. See, 3.9 was deficit. Yeah, 5.3. Yep, see, they're a lot faster than us on a straight line. So we're really going to have to make up our time after Indianapolis. 
There is a bit of a straightaway before Porsche curves, but Porsche curves, we could probably bring the gap down significantly if we play our cards right. Like, it's important that we don't lose on home soil with this car. Oh, shit. Too much grass. Oh, fuck. That's what happens when you take a corner horribly like I do. Look at those boys go away. They're just pulling out the monstrous lead on us. So if the gap was about six seconds, now I wonder what they're going to be like in the Porsche curves. See, from the Porsche curves, on, from here onwards to the beginning of the Molson, we're going to gain so much time. Watch. 5.9 now. Watch us be like right on the gearbox by the, by the Fortune Canes. Yep, we're already right behind the Paganis. As long as we get a slip from them, we'll be okay. Anyways, lap two out of three. Stay flat out for T1, hard on the brakes, into the chicane. Beautiful overtake, nice and clean. Time to catch the Zonda now. Honestly, I like the Zonda more than the Huayra. Hira? Huayra? I'm not sure how to say it. I've always been a big Zonda fan since the uh, GC3A spec. That car is gorgeous. I had to run wide because the Zonda literally started breaking at the exit of the corner. That was to avoid an accident. Totally not to gain an advantage or anything. Nope, I wouldn't do that. Of course, the Zonda's going to get past us. The other Pagani is nowhere to be found right now. Damn, we're actually having a side-by-side -side battle with this thing. It's mainly because of the slip. Come on, waiting for you to pass. There you go. Get back in the toe. Can we get him under braking? We can, for sure, right here. This little battle is going to change once we get to the Porsche curbs. We'll be gone, and then lap three will be, like, anticlimactic. And anticlimactic, and most likely to the Super... Oh, sorry. To the Supercar Festival. Oh, he's out breaking us. All right. Also, I just noticed the time is changing slowly. Well, not slowly. Time is changing slowly. The minutes are going by like it's like one minute for every three seconds or so. Let's let's see. Yeah, three seconds, just about. Oh, here comes the Pagani one two. It's starting to become nighttime at, here at Lamont. This is quite cool. I'm digging this so far. Ooh, side by side with the still. 
We're banging doors heading into the Porsche curbs. We're clear. Now watch us pull out our big lead on the Zondas. On the Zondas, the Paganis. There's only one Zonda. Well, easy. The visibility in the cockpit's kind of weird in this car. It's so low, like the window's so small. So I'm kind of struggling to see where the where the corners, like the apexes are and stuff. How much of the corners I can actually use. Anyways, one more lap to go. Now we're in complete darkness. Which is quite cool. This is a quite a cool way to end this championship, I'd say. Full throttle for the first corner. Hard on the brakes. Down to second gear. Use as much of the curb as you can. Get a good exit. Use all the curb on the left. Stay on the left. Gutter technique, essentially. But here at Le Mans. Break after the Bugatti circuit turn in. Kind of, oh, it was really slow through there. Damn. You know, actually, the Zonda is pretty close to us still. Like, the Huayra is fucked off, but... The Zonda could still battle us. But we're going to be slower on the straightaway here. He's going to catch up to us eventually. Maybe after the first Molson chicane? We'll see. He's lurking. He's right there. One point four second advantage. He's gonna get us here. Maybe after the second chicane, we'll see. Maybe I'm just running my mouth here and he's not gonna get us at all. Oh no, he's there. Hello, friend. He's gonna pass us right here. Which I'm cool with that. We'll just get a slip. We'll just get him past. We'll pass him in the Porsche curves anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, he's covering the inside. Look at him go. The AI is evolving, ladies and gentlemen. He's actually fighting us now. This is probably the funnest race I've had in GT6 so far in the LP. Too bad it's not being streamed, but that's all right. Do we have a toe? We do have a toe, somewhat. We just gotta not fuck up Indianapolis and we'll be good. Oh, easy. There we go, we're good. Indianapolis is one of my biggest curses. My 1v1 with um, PX7 Grove. I, I should have had an easy win. Probably easy two wins. I should have beat him, but I fucked up Indianapolis. When we battled at Circuit de la Sarthe in the Supras. Porsche curves time. He was slow on the exit. Now we're gonna get around him. Oh man, he's right on our gearbox. Okay, he's backing off now. I think it's a done deal. He's in the throttle. He ate all the sausage. Woo woo. Oh fuck. No no no, that's grass. That's grass, that's grass. I was trying to clip the runoff area there, the escape road, but I took the grass instead. Easy on the Ford chicanes. No need to push that hard. We're good. 
Damn, that was fun. That was a really fun race. Very nice. Zonda finishes uh, behind us by 1.9 seconds, and that is the Supercore Festival complete. Easily the funnest race I've had so far in this entire game. 32.6 thousand credits. Yeah, we're up to 11 million credits now. We've been using a lot of prize cars for these events. And even then, we're at that point now where when we buy cars, we can pretty much make a return. Except when we start getting into, like, the race car stuff. Because at that point, we're just going to be spending all that money. Although, we're going to be getting all that money back, obviously, through, um this event which we'll be doing after when we unlock the super license this this will be done before the super license events anyways 49 percent of the way down only one more percent until we are officially at the halfway point of this entire game so thank you so much for watching this episode of let's play grand Turismo 6 and next time on the lp we'll be taking a look at the tuned car festival where we're going to be racing out rice cars although i'm pretty sure the car we're going to be choosing will not be riced out I still haven't decided yet. I'm going to be deciding real soon.